a deeper dive into an ongoing medical headline. This week, the father of the former NFL player who shot and killed six people in Rock Hill before taking his own life filed a wrongful death lawsuit against his son's alma mater. That lawsuit says SC State failed to educate his son Philip Adams about head trauma and to adequately protect players. Now we know there have been several recent stories dealing with folks with head trauma, CTE and concussions. Medical experts warn athletes to be mindful of their health and researchers say the earlier contact sports start, the more problems a person could see later in life. WCNC Charlotte's Colin Mayfield spoke to an expert at Harvard Medical School about what doctors are doing right now to treat those health issues. Colin. Yeah, researchers are less concerned about concussions, which is what happens in the short term after a serious hit to the head and then symptoms, of course, after that. But it's the repeated impacts that don't amount to a concussion that can point to CTE. It's those type of hits that doctors are saying can create a myriad of problems for patients later in life, like emotional control and decision making. Repeated hits to the head over and over again to the tune of hundreds, if not thousands, over many years. That's what seems to put people at the highest risk of this neurodegenerative disease called CTE. As doctors continue to study repeated blows to the head and the frequency at which they happen in relation to CTE, Dr. Dan Danishvar says there's no doubt cognitive issues can happen. Things like emotional ability, which is where you fly off the handle more quickly. Uh, you also see problems with impulse control, problems with executive function, which is uh, your ability to make decisions. The doctor says people can see these type of symptoms after decades of playing contact sports like football, where head injuries are common. When I have patients who have histories of repetitive head impacts over years or decades and that are now experiencing some changes and they're concerned that those changes might be related to some neurodegenerative process. He explains that although the symptoms can correlate to CTE, doctors can only diagnose that disease after someone's dead. So in the meantime, Danishvar tells me that doctors should address symptoms in the short term with a patient that can create a domino effect of other symptoms if not treated. We're managing people's sleep because sleep apnea, specifically untreated sleep apnea, can cause problems with thinking, can cause problems with mood can pro cause problems with behavior. While CTE can be the main concern, other neurodegenerative diseases can form if things like sleep apnea or high blood pressure are never treated. Well, Dr. D went on to tell me that researchers have found direct correlations to how early someone plays a sport like football to the severity and likelihood of developing CTE. Vanessa. Wow, very eye-opening. Colin, thank you.